Meghan's iconic role and mirror dress when Meghan was royal. Who could forget the night before Prince Harry and Meghan's royal wedding? As the crowds gathered at Windsor, Harry went to greet them with best man Prince William. And Meghan was pictured arriving at Cliveden House Hotel wearing a gorgeous navy blue midi dress by one of her favourite designers, Roland Murat. The stunning look has since become one of the Duchess of Sussex's more iconic outfits. And sparked many look-alike dresses from high street brands. Meghan loved the style so much that she was pictured wearing a grey, long-sleeved version just a couple of months after her wedding. Made from double wool crepe and featuring that beautiful off-shoulder neckline, it originally retailed for £1,350, but is now down to just £568. There's a gorgeous yellow version available, too. It's incredibly rare for a dress worn by the Duchess to be available. So I recommend shopping quickly if you want to get your hands on this timeless style. Prince Harry and Meghan married in a beautiful ceremony at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on the 19th of May, 2018. Of course, it was the bride's stunning Zivonchi wedding gown that was the star of the show. As well as the stunning Stella McCartney number she chose for the evening celebrations. The Sussexes are now living with Archie in Santa Barbara. It has been a whole year since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their decision to step back. As senior royals and their plans to work to become financially independent. The statement shared in an Instagram post on the 8th of January 2020 made headlines around the world and just days later. A meeting dubbed the Sandringham Summit took place between Prince Harry, the Queen, the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge. Takes a look back at Harry and Meghan's year since their announcement and how they are settling into their new life with their son Archie in the US. The Sussexes carried out their final public engagements on UK soil as senior royals in March 2020. With the couple attending the Endeavour Fund Awards and the Mountbatten Festival of Music together. Harry and Meghan's last public outing with the royal family took place. At the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey a few days later, before they returned to Vancouver Island in Canada. As the pandemic took hold around the world, Harry, Meghan and Archie made the move from Canada to the US. The Sussexes resided temporarily at Hollywood producer Tyler Perry's mansion in Beverly Hills for the first few months of their new life in California. The couple shifted their focus to helping those in their local community during lockdown. When they volunteered to deliver food and medicine to people in isolation in LA in April, since before his birth in May 2019, Harry and Meghan have expressed their wish to raise their son as a private citizen. Archie has only made a handful of public appearances, but royal fans were delighted. When the Duke and Duchess released an adorable video of Meghan reading Duck. Rabbit to the Tot to mark his first birthday last May. The sweet clip was shared by Save the Children UK to support their campaign to help young people affected by the pandemic. In the same month, the Sussexes also celebrated their second wedding anniversary. The Sussexes moved into their new family home in Montecito, Santa Barbara in July. And can count Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres and Gwyneth Paltrow among their celebrity neighbors. They are now in their own family home, which they haven't had properly before. It's theirs, it's their forever home, where they are going to base themselves. Archie is moving about and is lively and they are having a great time. Harry and Meghan have shared glimpses of their stylish home during their video calls, including their gorgeous living room. Furnishings include nest wall prints from Baloga Studios, diptych candles and several coffee table books. During the ongoing crisis, the Sussexes kept in touch with their various patronages and charities using video calls. The couple have continued to focus on social issues such as racial injustice, gender equality, mental health and environmental concerns. Meghan recorded a powerful message in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. As she addressed graduates from her old school, the Immaculate Heart High School, in June. Meanwhile, Harry admitted he had no idea that unconscious bias existed until living a day or a week in my wife's, Meghan's, shoes. During a video conversation with activist Patrick Hutchinson for GQ magazine. The couple have been busy with a number of projects. The following month, the Sussexes set up their own production company. And landed a deal with Netflix to create content that informs but also gives hope. The website for their not-for-profit charitable organization Archival was launched in October. 
with its home page updated last month, including sweet baby photos of Harry and Meghan alongside a statement. The couple rounded off 2020 with the launch of their Archival Audio podcast series in partnership with Spotify. A holiday special saw special guest appearances from Sir Elton John, James Corden, and Harry and Meghan's son, Archie, who giggled adorably at the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.